Hey, it's Emo Girl. Sorry for the noise in the background. I'm probably going to actually turn that down real fast. Sorry. Hold on. Okay, I turned it down. Alright, so, don't mind that. It's still the fort thing. I'm probably going to take it down soon, but I kind of like it because it makes it dark at night, like pitch black, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to just kind of make this the catch-up time. Time to catch up on my life. Okay, well, sadly, I have some very bad news. I've been stuck in my room for a few days because I went longboarding after being in my house for three days and not exercising. My bad. And, um... When I went longboarding, it was for like two, three plus hours, and yeah, my leg hurt because I thought it was tired, and duh, I'm going to be tired after riding that long, and I didn't take any breaks, and um, then the next day, I did something nice for my brother, took him to the teen center, and did that, then the next thing I know... Later that night, my leg was acting up, and it started to hurt, like, really bad. And I couldn't walk. Like, I legitly had to use crutches the next day, which... Next day is not fun either, because that was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And my mom, yeah. My mom, being sick, she is never in the right mind because of her pain. And she took extra... Um, pills and it made her really drowsy and it gave us all a scare there was ambulance and police and it was put down as over uh, an attempt of overdose because we didn't know how much she took well till we counted she took a big dose of what she's not really supposed to do but then again doctors say it's supposed to get her out of the pain but she took way too much and she did try to hurt herself now even today i was crying because nurses came like not nurses um her nurse actually and our social worker trying to figure out a way to get her out of pain so that this doesn't happen again of course they had to give us a paper and there had to be a witness sign all that fun stuff but hopefully this is just a bad dream coming to an end and that will be out of the way um emo oreo is back in town finally and that's cool because now i can talk to him and he's trying to see if I can actually hang out with him because of the situations from the past videos that I was talking about. I like my makeup today. <laughs> and, um, I just want to say welcome back to Emo Oreo. And, um, I finally can get off crutches today, hopefully. Um, I'll have to see. I'm probably going to push myself again today, but that's because I'm not smart about that, and I love to ride my board, so... Love is pain, love is life. Da -da -da -da. No, it's not. Anyways. Um... I'm just going to try to have a good day, because I haven't been lately, and I was pretty broad yesterday because I was being strong for my family. Of course, I broke down like twice, once yesterday, once today. But that's normal because I have to feel emotion too. I could comfort my grandma at first because I didn't fully know what was going on. I was resting my leg on with an ice pack and I heard screaming. And my brother came into my room and said, we have to stay in here. Something's happening. I don't know. My instincts to walk out. So I peek out my door. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? I try to ask my brother because no one was answering me. He's like, mom took some pills. And I kind of was still confused because 
That's what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to take medication. Well, what I didn't know is that she took more. So, when everything was semi-settled, just because my brother had to leave with uh, my uncle, he did. And then everything was calm at first. But then family started showing up. Ambulance showed up. Police showed up. Fighter fi firefighters showed up. Neighbors started coming around and I heard that um, she's not much of my friend right now and we're not good at good terms, but um, an old friend, Katie, who lives a little bit actually that direction of the apartments. I don't know what direction you know where I'm in, but she's, she, uh, someone told me she was bawling because the kids said that my mom died and I went over there and comforted her, even though that it was in bad terms. I'm not prepared to let someone think that something like that happened. I'm not. And even if I'm in a bad term, even if that person hates my guts, I'm always going to be there for somebody. I'm, I don't make great decisions, but I know in, in a crisis, I, I can do what I can. God, I look horrible right now because I'm getting emotional. Um... So I comfort her, and I told her my mom's going to be fine. She's going to wake up the next day, just pray. And she woke up the next day, and everything's okay. We're trying something different with her medication, which hopefully will help. And basically right now, I'm preparing my mindset for the worst. And that's hard. And I look so cross-eyed, it's not even funny. Um... Sorry guys, I legitly don't like to cry, but this time has really, really gotten me down because usually I don't show my emotion, I don't, I'm really strong about that because I don't want to feel weak, but I know that that's going to help me right now. I'm trying to look at the camera, but I'm looking if there's tears rolling down my face and I'm sorry, but yeah. That happened, and I don't want to seem like a drama queen, but that's how it is. That's life, especially when you're kind of signed up by everybody else to deal with it. So that's what's been going on. Once again, I want to welcome uh, Emo Oreo back home, and hopefully we'll all have a good day. So I want to just tell everyone out there that be grateful for what you have, and... I only ask one thing since, if not, you're religious. Just a few prayers for my mom. Because, whatever. Um, this is Emo Girl, and I'm out.